Yo, what's going on guys? We're back for another video. And for today's video, we're going to be reviewing this 97 overall Mohamed Salah. Just an insane card. And I'll tell you guys all about it in a sec. But before, if you guys are new around here, subscribe to the channel. Turn on your post notifications every time I do upload. I do like doing player reviews, so if there's anybody you guys do want to see, just let me know. Also, join the Discord where I do play with my subscribers. I actually played against a subscriber um, for this video. So if you guys do want to be featured in it and try to, you know, beat me or something, then just join the Discord. We also play Warzone. Fortnite. I mean, we could play Fortnite, Minecraft, all the other stuff, and I kind of just want to keep it growing. And also, I am gonna be start streaming on Twitch. I have been for the past couple of weeks with my friends, and if you guys ever want to watch it late at night, then I'm all for it. I'm usually streaming pretty late. Um, my time is probably gonna be pretty early, like in the UK and like Europe. So if you guys ever want to, I will link it down below. So if you guys can't support it, at least follow me, and it'll show you when I do go live. But yeah. Thank you guys for all the support and anyways without further ado let's go on to his review right now he's going for 1.3 million on xbox probably a bit more maybe a bit less on ps i'm not too sure and this guy just pissed me off i'm gonna just well not him but just the thing that i did i got him for freaking 2 million coins and now he's going for 1.3 million coins and if that doesn't make you upset i don't know what does so if that doesn't deserve like i don't know what does but I lost 700k on him boys and if you guys do see some players you know I can't afford that many good players anymore this is why because I lost 700k on this Mohamed Salah but anyways it was well worth it in my opinion not worth the 2 million that I paid for him but if he's going for 1.3 I'd say just go for it honestly but I know he's going to go down especially when all the team seasons are in packs during the like the last couple of months for the game or the last couple of weeks just like last year how they released every single special card in the game so i feel like he might go for like 700k 800 so if you do want to wait for that then go ahead but if you are thinking about buying him trying him out then he is well worth it his pace is just amazing he has a good explosion of pace you guys will see by the goals at the end of the video um just outruns a lot of defenders obviously it's he's gonna outrun them but then at a certain point if you just keep running the defenders are gonna catch up to him especially if people have that new joe gomez or like van dyke or tamori or you know defenders with more than 85 pace veron too was a freaking kryptonite to this guy um his 97 shooting was just true to the max the only downside about him is probably his weak foot um but at the same time you didn't really you couldn't really notice it so what I mean by that is he shot really good with his right foot as long as you don't put too much power into it. Because if you expect him to blast it in the right, you know, bottom right or top right of the net, he's not going to really do that unless it's with his left foot. Because his, you know, his power shots with his right foot are kind of like unpredictable. So his right foot is honestly unpredictable. It's 50-50 at sometimes, you know. So I would just keep him to his left side and you guys will not be disappointed trust me his long shots with his left foot are just amazing however the goalkeeper would always block them but it still challenged the goalkeeper various times but i tried to get one for you guys so i could put in the um into the goals at the end of the video but i couldn't his passing was also good as long as with as long as it is with his left foot so just keep that in mind before you guys do buy him do not go and expect him to be a five star weak foot so most of you guys already know that but just for the people who don't, he does have three-star weak foot. So just keep that in mind before you do buy him. You have to train yourself to just use him with your use him with his left foot, and that's it. Maybe his right foot, you never know, it might go in. However, for me, it did go in sometimes, but just not too much. So just keep that in mind. His dribbling was just insane. Like insane boys. He just damn this guy was freaking getting dribbling. So instead of, you know going and doing long shots with him i really love dribbling with this guy and take out defenses because it was just so satisfying and it just i don't know it's just something about it and this guy's dribbling honestly is a 10 out of 10. i do recommend putting him at cam if you do play in a 4-2-3-1 a central cam position because if you put him at striker he will do good but not as good as if you put him in a cam position and i do recommend you probably honestly just boost his physical that's probably hit because his stats are just cracked they're insane so there's nothing else you could really do to improve them you know but um his physicality speaking of he did have some aggression to him and he was just like a little little chihuahua because he's like you know he's kind of short and this guy is just bullying 
and it's just so freaking amazing using this guy and i'm not even a liverpool fan i'm sorry but i just had to give it to y'all liverpool boys because this guy is just amazing and he's just too cracked but if you guys are thinking about him i would honestly this is the one of the only players i do say go out and try him out because he's just an amazing card and i did not regret it at all the only thing i regret is losing 700k on this guy and yes i'm kind of disappointed but we move hopefully you guys did enjoy this review hopefully it was useful um leave a like give me a comment what i can do to improve my channel and give me a comment as well saying who i should review next i was thinking sergio aguero but we'll see thank you guys for all the support and i'll catch you guys in the next video enjoy the goals and don't forget to follow me on twitch and join the discord and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video peace now Mo Salah, and that is how to thwart them. Felipe Anderson. Big chance to get them on terms. No shortage of excitement. Level again. No wonder they're excited. It sure feels like summer. Ground got a flag, got him waiting on my come up. Fernandinho Only with thing it. they running is from us. Fair relationship for middle class. What's the calm of this young James Bonds with an automatic gun up against a bunch of butter knives? Better can it fall, call it a mechanic, right there talking to ceramic, say they say that for another night. We don't got time, like we running right behind, like we taking wings, sign for the day, for another night. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Mohamed Salah. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Defenders. Salah, and he scores spectacularly. Three of the best, he's made the play, and that completes a wonderful hat trick. Well, suddenly they could be on the counter attack. Felipe Anderson. And here's the shot. Well, that should be the game. We could call it another insurance goal. Surely they can't throw it away here. Well, we see it so often these days, teams sitting deep in numbers, but when they've got such quick attack. Off the post. They read 
the opponent's mind and got the ball. So, Emilio Butragueño. It's a terrible place. And now the shot. The pressure has told. And they've caved in, really. Well, if you look back through the archives, you'll see that this player has scored quite a few from these kind of distances. And it is a knack. I'm sure the manager will be delighted with this. Fantastic teamwork, lovely ball through. 